Welcome back everybody, Canadian Silver Saver here and today I want to feature a really cool lineup of silver rounds made by Chautauqua Silverworks and I'll do my best with the name pronunciation there. Uh, but this is a cool series that I have available now on my website as well as this is also available on felimint.com so go head over there and check it out as well. Um, but I have a limited number of the, these available on my own website. And I wanted to share with you these very unique and interesting rounds. Now, the Chicago Silverworks here, let's get, go to the first one. And, uh, there, so there's the first round in the series. And the idea with this is to give you a some type of political or, uh, you know, that type of uh, focus. Uh, maybe against kind of fight the man, fight the, the government. Uh, you're being brainwashed and all that. But these give you an idea of, it gives you the way to interpret them in your own way so there's not a clear message on each round that they make they do this on purpose because they want you to be able to kind of see your own message through it as well but I saw a dead man yawn and I yawned um, that's the quote on the first one here cryptic quote and on the back you'll see that they have their logo so all of them have the uh, the Chicago silver works there one troy ounce one more ounce, one less fetter. And then we've got one ounce, 0.999 fine silver, bullseye AG47. So very, very cool. Uh, I, I love all the details in there and the way they've got the, like, the target done. Um, and then again here, there's the, it's like the kids in the classroom. So how I interpret this one is that uh, you know we're being all taught the same thing and we need to follow the masses. So basically you see somebody yawn, you're going to yawn. Uh, I saw an interesting experiment on YouTube that was something like that where there's people in a room and uh, some actors were there to set it up and then it just became people coming in and they would a bell would go off and people would stand up and then the new people would just start doing it because that's what other people were doing with no real rhyme or reason behind it. Um, we set up a hidden camera experiment to see if this woman would stand up at the sound of this tone simply because everyone else is. You might be thinking you'd never go along with this. Or would you? After just three beeps, and without knowing why she's doing it, this woman is now conforming perfectly to the group. Kind of following blindly, I guess, is how I interpret this. So that may be not how you interpret it. And that's the cool part about this series. So that's the first one. So I've got nine of them to go through. And I've got a one set available on my website, CanadianSilverSaver.com. Um, but I've also got uh, some individuals as well. So this is the second one in the series. And uh, we'll focus there. So bridge the gap. And it's showing the... It's cool because that's like a photo part. Can you see that? The gentleman's face there, the house, the car, consciousness opened up, bridging the gap to maybe in seeing the real picture. Um, you know, this is what we're being believed to is the way to go. And there's maybe more out there for us to discover and truly understand. And again, that's how I'm looking at this one. Um, and I really encourage everybody, comment down below and let me know what you interpret out of each one of these pieces. Uh, head over to my website, pick them up, and uh, there'll be more to come, I'm sure. Very cool. So that's the second one in the series. And then the third one in the series, I'll see here. What befalls you, recalls you. So I take that as kind of like a, what you've done will come around to get it to get you so uh, like karma basically to me uh, so what you've done throughout your life maybe we'll come back to get you when it's time to meet your maker or move on to that the next life depending on what you believe and what you look at right so but very cool there and you've got i think that's supposed to be like an angel and a demon interesting piece there at the top of this reminds me of um ghostbusters when gozer shows up at the top of the building. <laughs> I don't know why that does. That's fun. And again, the back is the same piece there. So that's the third one in the series. And then the fourth one here, the Cryptic Quote series, Chautauqua Silverworks. Memory is departed. So you can see here, we've got the, uh, I 
I guess the morgue there, or the mausoleum, or the crypt, and all the people's tombstones. And, uh, cool, the detail is really cool in this one. I like this, and the music playing. And not sure. So this is not say memories departed. See, I kind of feel like this is like as you move on to the next life. Sadly, you, you know, it's time to leave all that previous life behind you. Um, I, it, it makes me think of something. I just heard this recently. And it was like, what if when people say they see the light, that's actually you being reborn and seeing the light in the hospital as you come out to start your next life. And crying is because you know you're about to forget all your memories from your previous life and start anew. I thought that was kind of an interesting and maybe sad and somber thought. To, but uh, very, it's interesting how, you know, in a short time already making me think a little bit just by looking at these, right? And I really, I really like that. That makes, gives my stack more enjoyment uh, with pieces like this. So next one here, and this will be the fifth in the series. And so cryptic facade, and this one I just basically take is that uh, people put on masks and faces uh, depending on what they need to be or, or what people expect of them. So me, myself, and I, you can see he's got different faces on in jars there. And the uh, face on this reminds me of a um, movie They Live with Roddy Roddy Piper, which is actually a really good political movie to put on. If you haven't seen it, he puts on glasses and the glasses show him what the... What the world is hiding from us and what people really see and uh, alien people too. <laughs> it's kind of an interesting movie. What's your problem? I said, what's your problem? How are you today, sir? Okay, how's it going? Fine, thank you. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Um, cult classic for sure. And then the next one here, that sixth one, this is Cryptic Force. Uh, you can see there, it's got like an orb there at the top. And uh, I feel like this is maybe, you know, mystical. You know, what do people believe in? Do, do people believe in, uh, you know, the witchcraft or... or um, fantasy or, or magic and do they believe that maybe by going to the fortune teller or playing the lottery and all that they're, they're gonna life's gonna be better with those uh, things that maybe are, are out of our control but we believe maybe some people can put within our control so that's how I look at this here maybe a clairvoyant seeing into the future right like you're going to a, a psychic so that's a cool one too a bit more simple than the other ones I think so far the design I like the most is this one this is cool too there's a lot of detail in it uh, let's see this one's cool with all the detail in there. Um, yeah. And then this one here, so Cryptic Vision. And uh, Psychomantium there. Oh, there we go. Knowing, Enlighten. Jeez, I can't read that one second. Cognitive and Perceiving. So that says Knowing, Enlighten, Cognitive and Perceiving. I think the idea is uh, cryptic vision. It's you know, if art is put out there, what we see on TV, whether it's a movie, art has different, different, definitely um, different faces. You know, music, uh, actual artwork, movies, TV, stuff like that, and maybe what we see in those images um, isn't what what everybody sees, right? So it's your vision. What do you interpret? And I think that speaks to the series of rounds right here. All right, two more left to go here. Cool series for sure. Really happy to have these available to me right now. So Cryptic Fire. So Sacred Protocol. So I think down what's, what's burning in there. Let's see if we can lower our focus. 
looks like firearms, bullets. So, see the, the, the moon is looking pretty sinister there. Uh, it's like, I guess it's snowing or is it raining bullets? I, I'm not quite sure. So this one, sacred protocol. I don't, I don't know how I interpret this one. I think maybe that, uh, you know, the idea of gun control is to take guns away from people, take the control away from the from the public, um, give them the per perception that uh, not having firearms is safer and things like that. So let's take them away. And um, if you look at some of the biggest dictators and the horrible people in the world, they look back at the history. Once they take away the firearms, that's when all the tr trouble started to happen. So very cool piece. So um, not sure exactly how to interpret that one myself. There we go. And the last one in this awesome series, here we go, Cryptic Deja Vu. And this one's a fun looking one here. Let's see, we've got realm, world, and knowledge. And uh, I interpret this one as, so we got moment in an alternate realm. There's, there's a lot of beliefs in that are coming to the forefront these days that just wouldn't be talked about in school uh, back in you know when I was in school just in public um, you can see hollow moon you know, it's, it's kind of like they're investigating some theories and stuff like that and I think the idea of how I interpret this one is that over the years uh, whether it's aliens or government or Illuminati or any of that stuff there seems to be a kind of a repeating pattern of what we we believe may be going on in the world and uh, um, these pieces or maybe this is showing that uh, you know we're repeating some of those same things uh, but again how you interpret it may be different right so run out of room well there you go everybody this is a really cool series from Chautauqua Silverworks I do encourage you to check out my website canadiansilversaver.com for all of these pieces let me know down below what you think and uh, which ones you like and how you interpret a couple of these. Maybe give me your your view on what the artwork is about. Uh, if you want to pick some of these up and, uh, you know, the shipping and stuff on my website, that does I do get some questions about that. You can always message me and maybe we can work something out that way. But Canada is just that way. Unfortunately, we do pay a little bit more. So maybe if you bulk up a little bit on your order, it makes it a little bit more worthwhile. And adding items like this to my store is what I'm trying to do to help with that so people can pick up some really unique and wonderful poured silver as well as rounds and bars and coins and really beef up that shopping cart so that it makes it worthwhile for the shipping and everybody can have some awesome stuff added to their stack as well. This here for me is uh, really to have interest and make it fun while I'm collecting and while I'm building wealth along the way uh, and uh, the, you know because you pay a little bit more of a premium for these and uh, but I think that's a, a great way to look at it and you have fun doing this better than blowing your money at the bar and uh, or, or something like that right so if you enjoyed the video everybody please hit that thumbs up button it really does help I need more of those thumbs up uh, to encourage me to do more exciting and fun videos and uh, hit that subscribe button while you're out at it and get helps uh, also build the channel and get it out there as well and uh, send me any comments down below on things you'd like to see or items you'd like me to pick up. I had somebody request the Black Bull so I made sure I went and got that and did a video on that so I really enjoy doing that and it's fun. Thanks for all the support, everybody, and we will talk to you soon. Take care.